Welcome to the basic operation instructions for the Safe and Sound Micro. To turn the unit on, push the button once. It will show you the current battery indication level, uh, cycle through all the LEDs, and then show you the current RF environment level. Now it's in standby mode. It's always measuring, constantly measuring. If the RF level is exceeded, your wrist will feel a vibrate. To look at the environment right now, just push the button once. It will show you the current RF level and again turn off. If you would like to measure for a minute, just push and hold the button for two seconds and it will keep the unit on in display mode for a minute. Note that in display mode, when the LEDs are on, that the vibrate function is disabled. To set the RF threshold, the alarm thresholds, and the vibrate intensity, we have to first get to the utility menu. That's done by pushing and holding the button for 12 seconds. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now all the lights flashing like this indicates that we are in the utility menu now. To continue setting the RF thresholds, push for two seconds. Zero, one, two. Right now it's at red. If I want to change the higher threshold, I push once. If I want the threshold even higher. So each push cycles through the thresholds. Now it goes down to the lowest measurement threshold, uh, 10, 100. I'm going to put it back up to 1,000 microwatts per square meter. I like that setting. I want to keep it. So push for two seconds. Zero, one, two. Now I'm feeling the unit vibrate. It's at full intensity. If I want to go to minimum intensity, just push the button. There's the next intensity. There's three quarters intensity. I'm going to set it back to full intensity again. So now I'm feeling it vibrate at its maximum. I want to save that for two seconds. Zero, one, two. Now we're back in the utility menu. To exit the utility menu, push the button for five seconds. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. And now the unit's back measuring for a few seconds and then it will turn itself off uh, back into standby mode. To charge the unit, we go back here to the USB adapter, simply plug the unit into the USB-C. As it's charging, it's going to show you its current battery level. When all the LEDs are on and no LEDs are flashing, that means the unit is fully charged and ready to go. When you unplug from charging, um, your unit will show the current battery condition, measure for a few seconds, and then go uh, off into its regular standby mode. To turn the unit off, push and hold for five seconds. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. We'll cycle through all the LEDs, measure the current battery level, and then turn itself off.